morning to you. Back to school for lots of kids as well. Have a good year. I'm Laura Garcia. And I'm Scott McGrew. We begin with that desperate situation for frontline fire crews. The Calder Fire near Tahoe exploded in size. The Dixie Fire, not even a third contained. Firefighters have been fighting that one for weeks. All that smoke is expected to make conditions in the Bay Area terrible over the next 24 hours. Our team coverage continues right now. We're going to check in with Chris Sanchez looking at the firefight that crews are really up against. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Carrie Hall tracking all this wildfire smoke coming into the Bay Area. Yesterday, it was nice to get a clear blue afternoon, but that's about to change as we're starting to see some of the smoke coming in. First to the North Bay, as we take a look at this near surface smoke model showing the reds and even the purples indicating some unhealthy air quality with the smoke smoke settling in close to the ground. We do still have a breezy wind, but the wind direction is shifting and bringing in a northerly wind, which will enhance a lot of the smoke that's going to be moving in from those fires to our north. So as we get a look at the smoke model, once again, it's going to be smoky for today into tomorrow as we see these large fires billowing up huge amounts of smoke and then starting to send it into the Bay Area. We also have a risk of some new fire starts with the breezy winds that have kicked up up this morning for elevations above 1000 feet. It's a windy morning and these areas shaded in red will be included in that high fire danger until three o'clock this afternoon. We're still looking at winds that could gust anywhere from 30 to 55 miles per hour, but these fires that are mainly uncontained will possibly spread as we go into today. And for more on our wildfire danger as well as the Caldor fire, let's head over to Chris Sanchez with the impacts on the Bay Area. Well, hi there, Carrie. We're starting to see a little bit of that haze as that sun is starting to come up this morning, but we know that there will be more smoke in the air because those fires up north are just exploding in size. The Caldor fire went to almost 30,000 acres overnight, largely fueled by the winds that we're seeing even here in the Bay Area. Now, we know that the fire went from 6,500 acres to more than 30,000 in less than four, 24 hours, and we now know two residents residents were severely burned. One had to be taken to the hospital by helicopter. The entire El Dorado National Forest is now closed. Evacuation centers are full of residents fleeing for safety, though the orders are still in effect. And there are 242 fire personnel on this fire, which is not contained on any front. Now, meanwhile, the biggest fire burning in California right now, the Dixie Fire, continues to grow, also making for some of the eerie orange skies that we remember from last year. These images are from the San Jose State Weather Research Lab. And with 1,200 structures destroyed, we're not just talking wood smoke. This smoke is toxic. The first thing is, if the temperatures allow, keep your windows and doors shut, stay inside, you know, if there's smoke in the neighborhood. Um, we really recommend buying an air purifier um, and kind of setting up a clean air room. Uh, the, the smoke is the worst for people who have any sort of respiratory or lung issues, also heart conditions. The smoke is pretty bad, too, for kids and for our elderly. In San Jose, Chris Sanchez, Today in the Bay.